today's video, I thought it would be so fun to film a makeup tutorial. So for this specific look, it is kind of like that baddie girl, um, baddie look is what they call them on Instagram and Tumblr. Um, I would also just say this look is very Kylie Jenner geared because we have the eyebrows and the, li the lip liner and the winged eyeliner and I put fake eyelashes on as well. Um, I'm not the best at makeup so bear with me. I just thought it would be a fun makeup tutorial since it's not super popular on YouTube yet. Um, most girls wear Nike or Adidas hats with straight hair with this look but I decided to rock the French braids. My sister braided my hair for me because I do not know how to do this to myself. I wish and I will learn one day. My sister also took some photos of me which I will be putting on my Instagram. So if you want to follow me on there, it's at Callie Kaiser and my Snapchat is Callie Ann. But without further ado, I'd love to get into this video, so here we go. So right now I am starting with a fresh clean face. I just have moisturizer on and I'm starting with Mirabella primer and I'm just putting this all over my entire face to use as a good base. So none of my makeup comes off in this process. Once I'm done priming my face, I'm taking the darkest gel shade in this brow bar from Benefit and I'm just putting this underneath my eyebrow and lightly lining it. After that, I'll just fill it in. I'm taking my Gimme Brow from Benefit in the lightest shade and I'm just stroking this through each of my eyebrows. Using my Stay Don't Stray, I'm just placing this on both of my eyelids before I rub it in. For this look, we want a sharp cat eye, so I'm going to be taking some scotch tape and placing this on my lower lash line in a diagonal direction. Taking my Morphe's Brushes 35N palette, I'm taking the lightest shade possible and using this to mattify the eye primer I previously placed on my eyes. Then going in with a transition shade, I'm really just going to be building this up with my tapered blending brush um, to the desired color that I want. Going with the darker, more bronzy transition shade, I'm just gonna be really smoking that other one out and really building up the color. Taking my smaller crease brush, I'm just going to be putting this on in the inner corner on the upper lash line and then closer near the crease and then the edge of the tape so that when we take the tape off, it's a sharp precision edge and like a cat eye. Going in with a crease brush now, I'm going to be building this up on the outer corner of my upper lash line and crease. Going back with my tapered blending brush, we're just gonna blend all those pretty colors together. Taking my Revealed Smoky palette, I'm taking this really pretty light shimmery pink shade and I'm just placing this in my crease with my tapered blending brush. It gives my eye an extra shine, which I really like. Using my Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner in Intense Black, I'm just gonna be lightly lining my upper lash line and then going in for a cat eye. Taking this Bobbi Brown Gel Eyeliner, I'm just going back over the eyeliner that we just did with the Stila. I thought the gold sparkles look so pretty. Taking my Charbin Voce Vu Eyeliner Pencil, I'm just putting this on my waterline and trying to build this in my inner corner. Going in with that smaller crease brush, blending black underneath and really dusting it under the lower lash line gives a really nice pop to our eye color. For foundation, I'm using my Bare Minerals Bare Skin Pure Brightening Serum Foundation in the shade Bare Porcelain. I have to shake it because it has coconut oil in it and mix that up really well. I'm just gonna be taking this on a compact brush and brushing this all over and blending it into my face. Using my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, I am taking a dollop under each of my eyes and then rubbing that in in a triangle formation with my finger. Lately, I have been obsessed with this Smashbox Contour Kit. The first shade I'm going to be using is the brightest shade in the palette and we're just going to be setting our under eye concealer with that. Then going in with bronzer, I'm taking this angled bronzing brush and putting this on both sides of my cheekbones. Taking my Full Flawless Fleece Brush, I'm just going to be dusting and buffing out the bronzer on both sides of my face. Going back into that Smashbox Contour Kit, I'm putting this on my upper cheekbone and lower near my jawline so it gives the bronzer a precision of where it's at. Taking my Pink Sapphire Highlighter from Ofra Cosmetics and putting this on a smaller puffy brush and putting this on my cupid's bow, cheekbones, and nose. 
taking my lightest shade in my Morphe's palette, I'm just going to be dusting this on my brow bone. I put these natural looking lashes on off camera and then I applied this Blink Amplified Mascara on my upper and lower lash line. Before I go in with a lip liner, I always make sure I have chapstick on. So first I'm using my nice and spicy MAC long lasting lip liner and I'm just going to kind of overdraw the bottom and then just fill in the top and bottom. Going in with my MAC matte kind of sexy lipstick and I'm just putting this all over my lips. Alright, and that is all for our makeup look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this look. It was super fun. I thought it was just a fun excuse to put on a bunch of makeup. I also put together a little outfit. So my sports bra is from Nike. My bomber jacket is from Frankie Phoenix. And then I just paired that with high-waisted Lululemon leggings. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave comments down below if you would like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Also give this video a thumbs up. My Twitter and Instagram for both social medias is just at Kelly Kaiser and my Snapchat is Kelly N. Love you guys so much, have a great day. Oh,